Graham, another win, another three points. What did you make of the performance this afternoon? Uh, I thought there were, there were parts of it where we were very good. I thought that some of our play was really slick uh, and melding a group of players that haven't really played together um, was, was, was quite good from us. Um, I thought that everyone went about it in the right manner. But I'm, I'm always greedy, I want more. I want more from the guys. But I, I can't be too down on them because they've gone and got a clean sheet and, and put in another good result. Um, and I'm obviously pleased for that. The first half in particular, you started with a, a really good intensity. Does that, did that set the tone for today's game? Well, I, I said to them they had to push the tempo and they had to kind of dominate from the off. And we, we get a penalty after a minute and 20, um, which, which kind of set the tone for us. But we didn't slacken off in the first half, even though we could have been better on the ball and smoother on the ball and a little bit more clinical. We tried to push the tempo all the time, so, um, while still maintaining that balance, I thought, of being patient with the ball, not actually putting it at risk, but shifting it quite quickly. I thought that was good in the first period. And, and But for some poor decision making and some poor execution in the final third and the second half we could have had more goals What did you make of what the, the first team boys gave you today? I, I thought they got out what they needed that's what I gave them the challenge um, before before the game I said you need to get out what you need Bourne needs to get back um, and he gives 45 minutes you, you can see the quality the guy's got a wonderful left foot and good range and the other guys came in similarly and got out what they needed from the game which is good for us and it's good for my players to go and see that level that level of, of player that level of approach and, and that level of professionalism and because they all want to be there and they can almost uh, touch it now. Everyone in that group is training with the first team. Everyone now has been in front of the manager's eyes today uh, and it's good for them to go and actually mix it with the first team players and see what that level's all about. Andy Dallas with a, another hat-trick and he, he's finishing today was, was top-notch. Uh, uh, but he'll be, be quite down because he because he thinks he should have had more, which is good, a good trait to have because he's, he's, he's hungry to get goals and, and the team that we are will create goals. It's down to Andy to make sure he gets on the end of them. He's doing that remarkably well at the moment and he's a real threat for us. So uh, we're, we're pleased for him. I'm, I'm more pleased about the build-up. Peter Lovenkrantz is quite happy about the finishes because he's a forward player and he loves to see goals go in the back of the net. I like to see the, uh, the structure behind it and make sure that the way that we play is quite slick. But Andy is all good forwards, um, gets into the right area. And, and actually, do you know what? If he misses one, it doesn't really matter. He just wants to get the next one and the next one and the next one. And it reflects that in training. You've got a, a huge game against Vienna next week. How do you build up to that? Because I guess everyone wants their the place in the plane for that one. Exactly. Yeah. They have to go and perform. They have to go and perform on a daily basis. They have to come perform in the games like this. Um, because we're not going to give them places away, and nor should we. They have to realise that, that the highest of standards is demanded at all times. And if ever anyone slacks off in training they get to miss out on a massive carrot like that, which is great for us. We're not big proponents of the stick. We prefer the carrot, and we've got the biggest carrot of all. You could end up playing for our first team in front of 50,000 every week, um, and we just dangle that in front of them and see how hungry they are and see how hard they go after it. Thankfully, this season, I have to say, the guys have shown a fantastic attitude. They've approached their work, their training every single day really, really, really well, um, and I'm pleased with where they're going. And just finally, you're, you're top of the reserve league. Obviously, we know it's maybe not the, the ideal competition, but there's a chance maybe for the guys to, to go and win that. Is that a carrot as well for them? It is. We should be trying to win every competition that we're in. We haven't actually prioritised it this year. We just want to prioritise getting people through to the first team and make sure that pathway is there. But as long as you're at this football club, you have to win games. You want to win games, and it's a good habit to be in. So whilst we go and give them the international challenge, it's still about winning games. It's not about going to Vienna and enjoying the view. It's about going and being competitive and trying to impose upon them our brand of football. We've managed to do that quite well. Um, and I think that's translated into our league form really well as well.